All right, hello, this is Anna Galletly, and we're gonna do unit six, which is gonna go over the gross anatomy of your lower body vessels. All right, so once again, refer to your terms list and make sure you know which vessels you're gonna learn because there are more vessels labeled in the body uh, in your book than what we actually memorize. So if you will remember, with your arterial system, you've got that aorta coming down, okay and that's going to split into your common iliac which then splits into your internal iliac and your external iliac okay now right here i have my inguinal limb gimmick going between my asis my anterior superior iliac spine and the pubis right here all right there is a canal right there that canal is called the inguinal canal and of course, the whole structure is created by the inguinal ligament. Okay, so that external iliac artery, all three words need to be used in the name, just like common iliac is three words and internal iliac is three words, okay? When a common iliac goes through that inguinal canal, you're gonna change the name and now we have the femoral artery. Now off of the femoral artery, we have the deep femoral, which is obviously gonna be deep, and you can also see your lateral and medial circumflex femoral arteries, okay, wrapping around the femoral neck, okay? Now I'm gonna zoom back out a little bit, okay? And right here, we have another canal that's not really shown well on this picture. This is called the adductor hiatus. And basically, it's just a little tunnel that goes through your adductor muscles so that that femoral artery can move from the anterior compartment to the posterior compartment. So this is anterior and then it goes through this hole and now you can see it's shaded so that it looks like it's behind the knee. So now let's look over here. Where it comes out, okay, right about there, we change the name to popliteal artery. So on the anterior, it's called femoral, and on the posterior, it's called popliteal, okay? Now what's gonna happen is this popliteal is gonna begin to split. Now, you have got to draw this out and memorize it, okay? This popliteal goes like this, and it's got a branch, all right? So this is popliteal. As soon as it splits, this is the anterior tibial, and that is the posterior tibial, okay? So here you can see the anterior tibial. This is the posterior tibial. And this posterior tibial will continue to go down the posterior sural calf region of your leg. The anterior tibial goes through the inner osseous membrane and comes out to the front, okay? Now, off of the posterior tibial, we have another little branch, okay? And this is the fibular artery, also called the peroneal artery. So right here is this branch. So you've got popliteal one that splits into 2A and 2B, anterior tibial and posterior tibial. And then off of the posterior tibial, you have your fibular um, artery. And of course the fibular, fibular will be more lateral and the posterior tibial and the anterior tibial are slightly more medial but not too much so. Okay? So you need to memorize that pattern. You need to look at it on the models because people get confused right there with the branching. It's a common place for mistake. And then we're not learning any of those so you can just scratch those off. All right. So with our veins, it's really quick and dirty, very easy. Just like with the arteries, we do have some superficial veins, okay? The two superficial veins that you're gonna learn are the great saphenous, which is on the medial or inside, okay? And then you've got the small saphenous, which you can see right here, okay? And the small saphenous is going to come up this way and empty into the popliteal vein. Whereas the great saphenous 
is going to snake all the way up and empty directly into the femoral. So it goes into the femoral vein, whereas the small saphenous drains into the popliteal. Okay, the small saphenous does more lateral and posterior, whereas the great saphenous does more um, medial side drainage. Okay, so those are the two superficial vessels. The deep vessels follow the same pattern that you have with your arms, where the deep vessel name is sharing the same word with um, the artery. So you will see the. Um, Oh, let me see what color do I want. I'm going to make it confusing. Let's go with red. No, let's go with yellow. Let's do that. You've got your posterior tibial here, okay? And you've got your anterior tibial here and here. Those two basically merge. But you will see right here, I am going to use red now, you've got the fibular vein emptying into the posterior tibial. So it's basically the exact same pattern that you saw with the arteries. Okay? And then you've got your popliteal vein. Popliteal vein goes through the adductor hiatus. All right? All right, now we're gonna change the name right here to the femoral vein. Next to the deep femoral artery, you have your deep femoral vein. And then you got the femoral vein that's going to come up here. It's going to go through the inguinal canal and it's going to become the external iliac vein. All right, so there's the external iliac vein. Here's the internal iliac vein. Those merge into the common iliac vein, which then goes into the inferior vena cava. Okay? All right, so that was it for those abdominal, uh, excuse me, for those lower leg muscle. Um, excuse the lower leg blood vessels. Now, um, the next unit we're gonna look at um, lymphatics and fetal circulation.